Hi everyone, my name is Tamisha, a freshman at Ashesi University studying computer engineering and today I'll be talking about storyboarding. So I was first introduced to storyboarding when I came in first semester and I was introduced to the subject Foundations of Design and Entrepreneurship, which was a concept that was entirely new to me because I'd never done anything like it before. But through FD and with the past semester and with the past couple of weeks, I've actually realized that it can be used in any field, whether you're doing engineering, you're doing computer science, you're doing MIS or BA. Design thinking is something that is very crucial to everything that we need to do. And so I've decided to focus on storyboarding. So what it is, how important it is, and also how to make your own storyboards. So storyboarding is basically creating a narrative that focuses on people and their actions. So in other words, it's telling a user journey pictorially. And what that means is that you consider somebody, so let's say you have a product, like a drink, and you want to sell the drink to your customer. When you use a storyboard, you look at the customer before your product and also after your product. So your storyboard talks about the actions of the user before they use your products, the actions of the user as they come into contact with your products, and the actions of the user after they are done with your products. And storyboarding also helps you communicate your ideas using visual actions. So as human beings, it's easier for us to focus on pictures and videos than to focus on still text. And what storyboarding does is that it introduces an illustrative aspect to your work and allows you to grab the attention of the user. And the example on this slide is talking about poor customer service from someone named Adam. And so if you look closely, there are stick figures that are telling Adam that you suck and we hate you, which is exactly what the customer would be going through if they disliked his customer service. Okay, so I'm just going to focus on two main reasons why storyboarding is important. So the first is it helps you envision how people will act. So in Ashesi, there's a cafeteria called Big Ben which is down a slope. And so if the management of Big Ben wanted to look at a day in the life of their regular customer and see what exactly goes through their customers' minds before and after they purchase food from Big Ben, it would be useful for them to draw a storyboard. So if we take a user like Amma, the storyboard could start from when she walks down the hill, she looks at the menu, she makes her decision, she goes to the counter, she pays with either her meal plan or cash, she waits for her food, gets it and so on. And so this would help the management of Big Ben see exactly where their sales are coming from and also help them see how best they can improve the customer service of their customers. And the next importance is to look at your manufacturing process. So assuming I were an engineer at Apple, and my boss came up to me and said, okay, I have this great concept for the iPhone 8 Plus. So I want it to look like this. I want it to do this. I want it to have this. As an engineer with the rest of my team, I would draw up a storyboard, first starting with how exactly I want the iPhone to look, how exactly I want it to function, and a storyboard that details the manufacturing process of the iPhone. So if anything comes up and I end up forgetting one step, the storyboard is there to remind me of what I already outlined and help me in the manufacturing process. Because at the end of the day, I'm not just making one iPhone, I'm making tens of thousands. And so it's helpful to have a storyboard there to remind me of the plan for the iPhone. So we're going to talk about four key things that you can do when you're making your storyboard. So the first is to write out the story that you want to tell. So every good movie, every good video, every good advertisement has a script. So in the same way, every good storyboard has something that it follows because it's easier to write out everything that you want in your storyboard before you actually create the storyboard so that you don't forget anything. And the next is to use paper first when you're drawing up your storyboard. So I used a digital storyboard maker for my storyboard in this presentation. But when you're working in a team, it's easier to use paper, pencil, crayons because you can all crowd around the paper, you can all make edits, you can all add and subtract to the storyboard. Whereas if it were digital, you would have to wait for one person to finish before you can edit it. And the third is to make a low fidelity draft. So we don't need Pablo Picasso-esque drawings, we don't need professional art. I mean, 
I don't know how to draw, so if I'm making a storyboard, I just use stick figures and you can use those too. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to keep coming back, you're going to keep editing, you're going to keep erasing and changing and it doesn't make sense to exert all your energy into one storyboard only for you to rip it up and start a new one. And the final one is to use colors. So if there's something in your storyboard that you want to stand out, like if you're selling a bar of soap and you want people to know that it smells really nice, you can use colors to emphasize smells really nice so that whenever you're making the advertisement for the soup, whenever you're doing anything for the soup, you know that smells really nice is a selling point of your product. And so you focus more on it. So we're going to have an example of a storyboard. So assume we want to sell a bar of soap and we know through our business model canvas that the best channel to reach our customers is using an advertisement on the television. So we're going to create a storyboard detailing how we want to sell the soap. Now, we can't make a full storyboard here, but I've outlined the first three panels that we can use. So the first one is a full shot of the soap, how we want it to look. And there's dialogue under, so that's exactly what we want to say. So this says, this is more than just a bar of soap. It's a way of life, a guide into the unknown, a shot of confidence. So now, I've put that idea there. If I ever forget, the storyboard is there to remind me. The next is a shot of a model who has smelled his armpits and realizes that it smells very bad. And so the dialogue here would be, have you ever felt self-conscious because you reeked of desperation and sweat? Your deodorant or antiperspirant won't work if your soap doesn't. So we're acknowledging the fact that there's stuff like deodorant, there's stuff like antiperspirant, but if you don't use the right soap, which is our soap, then there's no way that these things are going to work. And the third panel shoots the soap from a different angle as opposed to the first one. And we say you don't have to worry again. Introducing Design Lab Soap, an affordable and economically friendly way of ensuring cleanliness all the days of your life. And so with just these three panels of the storyboard, we've seen how we want the ad to go. We've seen the direction in which we want it to flow. And so if we're going to shoot, it's very easy. Each panel is a scene. We get our models, we get the soap, we get our cameras and we're done. So, yes, and in case you didn't realize, we use color to place emphasis on certain words, so like reeked and sweat. So we want them to know that we know you smell, we know you've been sweating, but our soap is here for you. And each scene is covered in the storyboard, so it makes it detailed and easy to use. So we're just going to touch on some advantages of storyboards. So it's cheap, I mean, you just need paper, pencils, crayons, all those stuff are very cheap and easy to find. It's easy to understand because there are pictures, there are diagrams, there are illustrations. So you, if, even if you forget the text, you remember the picture, you remember what it looks like. It also encourages teamwork because everybody is pitching in to drop the perfect storyboard. Everybody wants the storyboard to look amazing. And the final one is that it's easy to do. You don't have to be a skilled artist. You can just draw your scribbles on paper. You can use digital storyboard makers and yeah, you're all set. So in conclusion, we've learned that storyboarding is a very essential tool that you need not only in design thinking, but also for the rest of your life. This content has been powered by the Ashesi D Lab. My name is Tamisha and expect more content from us later on. Thank you very much for watching.